friends, hello and welcome back to Ikki Extremes Create Above and Beyond. How are you all doing, my friends? How are you all doing? Ignore the, the, the fluster of pushing all the wrong buttons just then. Oh, yes or nothing. How are you doing? Happy hump day. Whoop, whoop. Happy hump day indeed. How are you all doing? I have realised I need another one of these. Another one of these would be nice. <laughs> So I was just trying to get that together while I mess it up beautifully, as always. Beautifully. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good in the hood. Ba -da -ba. And then we put that there. Did that work? That looks like that worked. Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah, we're trying to make another flywheel because I realised I needed more than one. <laughs> Go figure. Hello, Morty! Hey, how are you doing, lovely? I uh, didn't get the full update from you, so you're going to update me like right now, this is. Uh, why isn't that moving? Uh, why isn't that moving? It's cooking, it's not moving. It should be moving. Turn on. No. Oh, I thought that would work. Uh, wait, hang on. Other way around. Do -do -do. Is that what I did? Is that why I messed it up? Uh. You're here with Alice today. Hello, Alice! <gasps> You're buying a house. Say what? You're buying a house. That's, I mean, that's impressive. That right there is impressive. That's why it wasn't working. It's because it hasn't connected up with the tubey tubes. No, oh, for messes sakes. Blah. Buying a house. Say what? The bad news is I'm buying a house and have no money. And everything else. That, yeah, that, that happens too. That happens too. I can definitely recognise that. Right. There we go. Now it's working. And nothing's moving. Hmm. You should go there. I mean, that should work. Right. You go down. You go down. You come around. You do the thing. Do it. Hey, there we go. Oh, no Calicon. Oh, you should be sorely, sorely missed, my friend. Oh, hang on. That way. Yeah, that'll work. That should work. This should work. Maybe. <laughs> uh, or not, as the case may be. Go down. Go that way. Do something. No? Hmm. Didn't expect this to be a problem. It appears to not be working. That is interesting. Come on. Do the thing. Hmm. Let's try that again. Why aren't you working? Oh, is it because that? Hang on a moment. Have I missed one of the bars? I missed one of the bars. That didn't help. At the moment, I am building, or trying to build. Oh, if I can get over this lag hump. Oh, uh, that was a big old lag hump. I'm trying at the moment to make another um, flywheel. But uh, it doesn't seem to be working very well. And I do seem to be getting a little bit more lag these days, which is a bit concerning. Right, try again. You go down to you. You will go down to this middle one, hopefully. And then that should go that way. Potentially. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, oh, right, good, 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 good. It's going to that one. And then it should go down. And it should go that way. Because I needed another one of these, because I, I nicked it for over there. Wait, hang on. Ooh, it's doing the thing. It's done the thing! Ba -ba 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 -ba! I needed another one of these machines, which generates stupid amounts of energy. That's in the in the like sixteen thousands, not the the three hundreds. Um, to make another flywheel, because I do need one here to power this if I want to keep it going. Because I need to make some more grinding wheels, um, and I do need one here. So steam engine, yes and no. So in uh. Hang on, have I forgotten cobblestone? Do, can I make it out of that? 
Nope. Ah, why call it cobble if you can't do it? Um, in this one, you don't have um, steam engines because it's the slightly older version of create with the create above and beyond element of it. There we go, pop that back there. Pop the furnace engine back on there. And then the flywheel back there. So it all then connects up. So we're making the uh, we're making the uh, the furnace that one with the furnace engine that works off of cookificating things. I like it so. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, because yet yeah, you've got you, you. I've not seen you for a while, so you've missed quite a bit of this. Some of this might look incredibly new to you at this point. So uh, let's let's do what we usually do. Uh, I don't know if I should do it on this. Well, pff, fine. We're doing it on this. So. Over here, overview. I mean, to be fair, it hasn't moved much further along on the overview side of things, although we did complete the end of machinery in the end. We're in here somewhere. And we're actually in this one because this one looked far too complicated. So over here, this is the far too complicated one. Basically, you're taking reagents and turning them into things that then will make a thing. I wasn't sure how to start that one, so we've gone with this one instead. Uh, there. So basically, in this one, the idea is to get to down here with the uh, with the ME controllers and circuitries and whatnot. So, so making one of those a calculation mechanism that looks kind of familiar. Yeah, warp zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, warp, warp zone. Because we've now unlocked, technically speaking. There we go. Hang on. Now that you have a passive supply of silicon reagents, you may head over to the main section for chapter four. So uh, you've opened up the entry point near the end of the chain. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, we technically, with the end of catharsis, technically speaking, the power of instant transportation. So yeah, teleportation is tough. I know, exciting. So this is this is the new chapter, and so far we've done the alchemical laser. We've got more power sources now. We've done the sand part where we take sand, turn it into a ball, turn it into a clump of sand, get liquid sand. We can't really go any further that way. We've also now got our basalt generator with the magnet and the hot laser this is kind of where we're at now and then we need to do those two and then we need to do the rest of this bit over here <laughs> hope that all made sense hope that all made sense that was a quick 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 overview but yeah that's what all this is doing here is creating my basalt here and also creating uh, cobblestone which then gets ground down into gravel which then also gets ground down into sand, which turns up up here, which turns into the the ball, which then gets drained and ends up over here in a box down there, which I can't quite... Uh, hang on. There. Sand chunk. Complicated, yes. But, uh, but it does mean that we've actually refined one of our systems because this is doing the same thing that guy over there is doing. That, that big monstrosity here it's basically being done in half the space here and because I've now got some nice handy little brass tunnels I'm actually collecting cobble and gravel as it's created and then finally sand which is what we need for this particular part of the chapter so and we're actually using now although it still hasn't updated and I don't know why um, lava for generation with various thermal series items and i tell you what you have to watch this you have to you, you're gonna love this you're gonna love this hang on chunky basati let's get you back as well you're gonna love this so part of it is using the mechanical laser and this i i just i think this is so brilliant so the whole idea is you've got a, a deployer here right hang on the handle I guess it's got a it's got a filter on it now, whatever. <laughs> um, and the info machine and a laser, and then you pop into the cart a fluxo magnet, which is what we made last time, and the basalt. And then watch this, watch this. This is so exciting. I really can't get over this. Watch the mine cart, okay? Because what happens when this goes out and punches that? It does a thing. Hang on. See that? Join. How cool is that? And it turns it into a uh, basalt shards. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? I can I can do little laser beams. Look, shim, zim. I haven't automated this yet. Yeah, exactly. Zip, 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 zip. It does hurt, as you saw, but I mean, 
apparently if you don't stand so close to it, you, you're probably fine. I really like the pink laser. I really like the pink laser. But yes, Zim. So, technically speaking now, the next part of this quest chain here, because we've got the cobble gen, we've got the flux magnet, we've got the hot laser, we need to do this. So before it's ready for processing, the basalt essence needs a bit of refinement. Yeah, you guessed it. Refinement means crushing. <laughs> crush it. We can do that. We can crush it. We have crushing wheels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... I'm still wondering about whether or not I need to automate this as well, because over here is where the magnet gets charged. Over here is where the basalt is kind of ending up right now. We could almost have like a railway cart thingy going around here to pick it up to come over here, get whopped with a timer to then come back and, and start the whole process again. But uh, I, at the moment, I definitely don't need more basalt because <laughs> I've got all of that in my inventory and I've got all of that too. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not strained for basalt. Oh, Alice wants to see the house. Okay, we can show the house. We can show the house. I always like doing things for my for my viewers, so let's go and have a look. Um, I did cheat slightly, so, uh, you know, don't judge. Don't judge, but I did cheat slightly. So this is my little village, you might say. This is my little village. And basically, that there is my house. Right? It didn't start out with this extension here. It started out originally as just this bit. But I, I ran out of space. So you've got your bed. You've got your, you know, paintings, shulker boxes, silverfish, lamp. It's a lamp. Uh, and kitchen. Which is rather nice. We also popped on the item terminal, permanent water source, because every base needs it. And this is where we're hiding all of the boxes of doom. Because, you know, my, and honestly, my storage system could be better. Because it's right now a mess, as you can see. Don't don't judge. <laughs> There's no system to it. Because what we use is up here with the item terminal from Pretty Pipes. So if I search up some cobble, for example, it pulls up everything that has the word cobble in it. So yeah, this is my house. This is my house. It's a lovely house. Down there is the mine shaft that comes with the uh, with the house, the uh, the thing that I converted. Hidden over there is my mushroom farm and also trade station. It is quite fancy, isn't it? And then down here is the uh, is the sneaky. This is always a lava pit, but I used up all the lava, and the mines that that I constantly um dying in. Yeah, her. yeah, her. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, so not bad, not bad. But I've also tacked on some more buildings, and I intend to make some more buildings, in fact. So if I come back up here, close the gate so nothing comes up. If I come back over here, oh, by the way, check it out. Hang on, listen, listen. Alice, listen to this. You're going to love it. Neep, neep. Neep, 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 neep. Yep, the duck neep, neep, goes neep. The duck goes neep. Neep, neep, neep. I don't know why it's turning the light on. I guess that's a redstone neep, thing. Maybe the ducks work neep, on redstone. Neep. I didn't know this until now. Cool. So over here, I've actually done a bit of upgrading as well. I've actually done a bit of upgrading. So here is my blacksmithy type thing. So if you come in here, close the door. We've got the uh, the typical tinkers smeltery. So this is where I melt all of my, 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 my irons and stuff down. And it goes into here, into a nice barrel. And you've got like a little workshop area with other templates in. And then over here... Because I recently, over the weekend, ripped down part of it. So this used to be my conveyor belt building. The only trouble is, and I actually have decorated it a little bit. I put some bushes on. That counts. It counts as decorating. Uh -huh. I, this was originally my, my tree resin farm. And I still do have a fair amount of resin over here that could be collected. I haven't moved those out for now. Because I've turned this into another sort of smithing area but slightly different so this is the same contraption as in that building there but instead this one is used solely solely for actually making the the alloys so what i mean by alloys is brass if we go over here the brass can't be made in an, a normal way it needs to be mixificated so if it's copper and zinc into one of these mixificators we'll turn it into brass so what we do is we load some copper in there and some brass in there. 
because those are the smelters behind there from Tinks, it gets mixed in this bowl. And then if I twiddle this handle, it will suck it from this to that. And then it will turn it into ingots and chuck it into oh, that box down there. Yeah, because before, all of that mess was kind of tacked onto the side of this building and I had no space to get through this gap. So, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. So I've moved it. I do intend to also put a building around my enchanting table and check it out what I found. Still getting weird lag. I found llamas. Look at that. Uh -huh. I found llamas and I now also have a donkey and a horse in here somewhere. D ostrich egg. Oh, ostrich. Baby ostrich. He can be free. A horse and ostriches. And yes, you can ride the ostriches. I have one that has a pep. And out. Hang on. Oh, another baby ostrich. Whoops. Hang on. How's about that, eh? And they're not as fast as a horse. So if I kind of just like running with sprint on it right it's not that exciting but you have all sorts of birds in here like the kookaburra and you've got seagulls and you've got other other things that's kind of fun but yeah we can run around on ostriches because you know this is modded <laughs> yep there we go Ta-da! hang on get out of the way any trouble is they've got big bums they do drop so it i mean not to not that i'm encouraging you to go and slaughter a lot of ostriches in your world but they do drop slightly more flesh than a chicken does. So, you know, if you wanted to have a chicken farm, why not make it an ostrich farm? Hmm? Also, look at that baby. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. And you can use the eggshells as bone meal. Mm -hmm. Right. Where were we? We now have our second flywheel because I needed two. One for that one, one for this one, which is our gorgeous... Oh, well, this is a, those are a create one, so that's a special kind of bird. Um, let's see if I can... Bird? <clears throat> so it's called Exotic Birds. And uh, you can get all sorts of different types of, of birds. So the cassowary is the blue ones that are dangerous and don't touch them ever. But you can even put them in little cages. And there's even a bird identification book. So you can, you can uh, interact with a bird and you can read all about it. I did that last season between chapters because it was fun and stupid. Right, let's fix this back to what it's supposed to be, sort of. <clears throat> By using the wrench, you can force it to use the same thing in the same space so that I don't ever have to come and fiddle with it again. Do da do da. Although I do have to occasionally undo it because I need to like change it to hold different things. So, you know, probably we'll still end up fiddling with it. Right. Hopper, hopper. Hopper and hopper. So that then it should automatically. Ta da! get back to making um making our crushing wheels because i feel like we're gonna need a lot lot much it's the lag is this right here i don't know how i'm gonna get rid of all of this gunpowder i don't like i've got so much gunpowder i can't get away from it and i didn't even put i'm sure i didn't put that much in there in terms of green stuff but i mean it's just it's just it's not stopping i have too much gunpowder and i never thought i would say that Never ever. But never mind. It'll be fine. Right. Let's turn you back on, probably. Uh, probably. Hang on. I have some. I have some stuff over here. I could make TNT. I could make TNT. That is definitely one of the things I have wondered about. Is make make a bunch of TNT. The other thing I could do is cheaty. There we go. The other way, the thing I could do. Oh, there goes the lag again. I told you it's that over there. Right. <clears throat> the other thing I can do is make a cannon. Now, bear with me. Maybe we'll do that this time because I don't have an actual official plan for this one. <clears throat> Apart from entertaining people. So, And this is entertaining. Right. Is this. That. The schematic cannon. So, shoots blocks to recreate a deployed schematic in the world. Uses items from adjacent inventories and gunpowder as fuel so let's see if we can maybe make one of those eh? because that'll be fun and exciting so smooth stone <coughs> smooth we don't have any of that stone we have some of that there it is uh we also needed iron we've got stupid amounts of iron that's not a worry <laughs> spread that out make it easy 
Stupid amounts of iron. Always. Let's see if I can actually deal with some of my inventory while we're at it as well. Because it's a mess. Again. Stone. Uh, we're going to make the stone into smooth stone. Probably don't need to make all of that into smooth stone, but fine. And cannon. You're going to love how this works. Right. We need wood. We need a dispenser. Do I have a dispenser? Probably not. Dispenser. Nope. We don't. That's fine. Get in the storage system, you pain. Bow. We do have some of those, so that's good. Uh, probably some redstone. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We can get on to making one of those. We also need to make a couple of other items with it. But, uh, it'll be fine, it will be fine. Right, can I use you, or do I need to... Probably need to fix that. Dispenser. Ta-cha. Oh no, you don't need to fix it. Hey, lovely. Got a dispenser. Right. Cannon. We needed wood as well, didn't we? Do -do 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 -do. So we need um, oak. And we needed... Sweet stone. Come on. Yep, yep. Thank you. Cannon. Keep spelling it wrong. Don't don't mind me. With the oh cauldron. We need a cauldron. We've got we've got plenty of iron for a cauldron. Got plenty of iron for a cauldron. Ta da. Because we've got our machines out there making it for us, so naha. You see? Pays. Pays to make all these things. There we go. Ta da! Schematic cannon. Oh. Well hopefully you don't go before this because it's cool and exciting. <clears throat> so if we pop it over here there is your schematic cannon, right? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All you need then is a schematic table. Please, Mr. Morty, let her stay up and so we can see this bit because it's cool and exciting. Paper. <coughs> we need a uh, lapis. We need a schematic table. One of those. Uh, so more smooth stone. She is very excited about I'm very excited about the cannon. I don't know about her. I'm very excited about the cannon. Let's see if we got feathers. We've got a magic feather. Hmm. <coughs> what else did we need? Slabs. <laughs> well, we can figure this out. I've still got all of that in my inventory. I really ought to tell me off later for putting things in the wrong box. <coughs> because yeah, that's a thing. Right. Schematic table. Schematic. Yeah. Schematic table. Bop, bop, bop. So we've made one of those. That's just a couple of slabs and some smooth stone. Empty schematic. So I need blue. I need light blue. Ooh. I've got some bone mill somewhere, right? Bone. Bone mill. <coughs> and we'll get this working because this will be exciting. Trust, trust. And we need some gunpowder. When I said I had a lot of gunpowder, <laughs> I have a lot of gunpowder. I can't get rid of the stuff apparently. So make some light blue dye, pop it into a crafting table with some paper. You'll make an empty schematic because you need that for your for your thingy. So if I pop down the table, let's pop it here for now. That also has things. So in here. I've got different types already in here saved, um, but we don't want to use those, we want to use something else. So let's see if I can find a feather. I didn't find a feather. Oh, thank you Mr. Morty. Let's see if I can find a feather. I don't know where I actually put all my feathers, I'm fairly certain I just tucked them out. <laughs> Which means we might need to kill an ostrich. Not too long, that's absolutely acceptable. Right. <clears throat> Empty schematic. I need a feather. Do you drop a feather? I assume you do. Sorry. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. And I told you he dropped... In you get. There you go. I told you you get more f more meat from it. Look. Four and five feathers. So, I mean, it's it, why have a chicken farm when you can have an ostrich farm? Mm -hmm. Right. Your that and that goes in there to make a schematic and quill. And while we're at it, we probably need to make another 
blueprint. There we go. So take your schematic quill and what we're going to do, quite simply, so when you hold it in your hand you get a blue box, right? First position set. Okay. Now you see if I go over here <coughs> I can select another spot, right? Now if we, was it this one or that one? Can kind of, let's select that bit. No. No. Hang on. Stop it. I'm fairly certain it was a shift button. Maybe I'm going mad. Bin it. Stop it. You. Yeah. All the way around. Let's, use, let's cheat and use the scaffolding. Upwards, thanks. <laughs> uh, to you. You. Yeah. We copied most of the building now, you see, right? The blue box indicates that you've copied most of the building, right? Right click, let's call it blacksmith, right? And you say save and it saved my schematica. Oops, ow. So if we come over here now and pop that in there, you can see now it's, a, it's in the thing, right? So if I pop a empty schematic and say, yes, I want the blacksmith, it processes it and turns it into the blacksmith, right? Right? That now has my schematic of that building. So if I come over here now, let's go a little bit further out. So you'll see I've got a blue box on me now. You can see that. If I right click, say, here, you'll now notice I've got a almost like a, a copy of my blacksmith. But I, I can I can move it, so hang on, hold left alt. We can move it up or down. We can do all sorts of things with it if we wanted to. So if we, hang on, buttons. So control and scroll to say, actually, I want it that way around. Right, that's not, that's not the only thing. So if I then say that way and I want to move it this way. I can move it this way. Right. So now I'm saying I want another blacksmith there. Right. Right. So now all we do come over here, pop that in there, pop that in there. It's now loaded it. Right. Right. So now if we take a ba -ba 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 -ba, Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, hun. You haven't seen anything. Yet. So it's nothing's built yet, right? I'm gonna fudge it slightly. Hey, Adidalith. I'm gonna fudge it slightly. So if we go for oak planks, let's get some of that going. And that probably, that definitely. Because what you need to do now is you need to tell it that you're gonna build this this place basically. Um, bricks. West. Hang on. Dip, dip. And you, and probably you. Oh, and we need a chest. Let's have two of you as well. Get out of my inventory, all of you. <coughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Right, chest. You, you, and you. Right, come up here. And what we're going to do is next to our cannon. We're going to place the chest and we're going to pop the blocks that we believe make up this building in that chest, right? Because that's that. You can make a book to check that you've got all of the right materials, right? Now this is basically primed and ready to go, okay? Primed and ready to go. So you've got your gunpowder, it's in here. Uh, you've got your checklist. If you wanted to put a book in here and do your checklist, it would give you your materials that you need to gather. Printer settings. Don't replace any solid blocks. Replace solid with solid. So if there's a solid one there and it needs another block, you can do that. Replace solid with any. Replace solid with empty. Skip missing blocks and protect tile entities. I'm going to skip missing blocks because I know not everything is in that. And all we're going to do then is like a little cassette player here. We're going to press play. And it says ready. Press play. 
Do you see that? Pew, pew, pew. Let me quickly sleep. Yeah, let me quickly see. Hang on, let me... Uh, no, don't pause it. Don't pause it. I've seen it go wrong if you pause it. So don't pause it. But if I quickly sleep and then go back... <clears throat> we should be able to see it being built. Shit. I forgot all of the bricks. I forgot all of the other bricks, but it's fine. I wanted to show this to Alice before she went to bed. But you can see now, over here... I'm literally building this without building it. See that? Pew, pew, pew. Look at that. And you can copy any build in your world, any build, and recreate it like such. Any build. So I chucked in the I chucked in the oak planks and the, the stone bricks, etc, etc, and the windows. It appears to have run out of blocks because I didn't put all the blocks needed in it. But that is how you can then easily duplicate your buildings using the schematic cannon and it gives you back an empty sheet and it only used up a little bit of the gunpowder and I mean you can do that as many times as you fancy <laughs> I thought it would be it also looks epic I mean look at that imagine having like a dwarven castle with the schematic cannon on you know all of the parapets hmm? that that right there is a bad boy and because it's a schematic cannon, it will it will build things for you. So if I if I go and, and replace that in there again, I can just keep it building and just like if I put all the blocks in there that I needed to, it would build the building for me. Yeah, you see? Dwarven castle. You see, this is the next build you need to do for me. Alright, Alice, alright? And send me pictures of it because I would love this. A dwarven castle with a whole bunch of schematic cannons along the top. Mm hmm Would be absolutely perfect. So yes, but now you have had five extra minutes before your bedtime. Yeah. But yeah, that's how the schematic cannon works. There's a lot of fun things in Create, and this is definitely one of them. Is the ability to copy and create buildings that you've seen in the world that you liked, and you can just recreate them. Like I've I've built entire villages using that because you just go and copy the existing buildings already and, and do it anyway so yeah i'll finish that building off at some point because now we've got it and we've got a use for gunpowder why wouldn't we but uh in the meantime now that we've uh had a bit of improvements over here and tidied up some things i might take down that cobble generator there and that I've, I've got above my head right now um because we don't need it anymore we've got that one over there um between streams but we'll see we'll see but uh in the meantime i shall uh, i shall catch you all on friday or friday as i like to call it and uh yeah see see where we get to there maybe we'll actually start you know doing some more of this again maybe i can't promise anything 